Paul uses two terms in this passage that especially require us to explain them. The first one is chosen, and the second one is remnant. The Bible teaches two truths that stand in tension, uh, that are difficult to understand, but the Bible teaches both of these truths. One of them is that God chose you. But it's also true that you chose him. On the basis of what did God choose us? It's on the basis of his foreknowledge. Now, there, there are two basic meanings to the idea of foreknowledge that Paul uses. Uh, on the one hand, uh, it's very clear. It it's means simply to know beforehand. God knew beforehand that you and I were going to be saved. But it's more than that. Because the specific word that Paul chooses to use in the original language also means ahead of time to set your affections upon. In other words, before you were born, before you ever chose Christ, God knew you and loved you. This also means that God will never abandon you. Now we need to talk about the nature of that special relationship with Israel. It was established through a, a biblical patriarch, really the guy who was the man who was the very beginning of the Jewish people, a man by the name of Abraham. God would bless the world through Abraham. And it would be through his line, the Jews, that Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, would come. The Jews are still God's chosen people. So there's the whole idea of chosenness. Well, then there's that word, the remnant. Now, there were some Jews who were putting their trust in God's grace and were saved, but it was a small part. A large proportion of them had hearts that said no, and their hearts became hard to the gospel. So who and what hardened their hearts? Did they, do it in t did they do it to themselves? Well, in a very real sense, yes, and in a very real sense, no. It was yes in the sense that when any of us are exposed to truth, like I just said before, and we give God the no thank you, then the result is hardness, and our hearts will become insensitive and brittle. On the other hand, however, there is a hardness of heart that isn't always simply the result, the unfortunate result of our obstinate attitude. God can also initiate hardness for his sovereign purposes and for his glory. Matt Chandler is the author of a great book that I commend to you. It's entitled The Explicit Gospel, and he states this. He says, the hearer of the gospel is responsible for his response but God is responsible for the hearer's ability to do so. So what has this to do with you? God will always reserve for himself a remnant. He will never allow you to be the only one left, just like he said to Elijah. And God will not abandon his own. He will not abandon the nation of Israel, and he will not abandon you if you've put your trust in Jesus.